people didn't see you there. When delivering a presentation or writing a report, diagrams are commonly used to help the audience visualize the data that is presented. As you probably know, there are various types of diagrams, but how do we know which one to use? Well, it depends on your data. Let's say you'd like to know about people's coffee preferences. Remember, the purpose of diagram is to make it easier for the audience to interpret the data. Of all the diagrams, pie charts are the most simple and easy to understand. They show the parts of a whole and often do not require any additional explanation. But they can also be misleading. Take this pie chart as an example. 65% of participants are said to drink Americano, but it is not clear exactly how many people make up the 65%. So although they are easily understood, the exact values are not shown, which may lead to false impressions. Let's imagine you would now like to know whether people's coffee preferences change over time, let's say over a period of six months. Although pie charts are easily understood, multiple pie charts will be needed to show any changes in the data over time. In this case, six pie charts will be needed for six months. Therefore, it will be much easier to use a line graph instead. A line graph plots data along a line like this. The only problem with line graphs is it's hard to pinpoint the exact value, so we often have to make an approximation. But line graphs are great for noticing trends and patterns. They are not useful though when your data has a lot of variables. Look at this example here. The number of variables makes it quite difficult to read. In this case, it would be better to use a bar chart. A bar chart is most often used for comparing different types of data. And in some situations, it may be necessary to provide the audience with the exact values. If that's the case, tables are the best choice. Tables list data in rows and columns like this. With line graphs and bar charts, trends and patterns are easy to understand. But with tables, they're not. Therefore, tables are less visually oriented and require more explanation. As we have seen, different diagrams can be used to show different perspectives. Some diagrams are more visually appealing than others, but each has its own strengths and weaknesses. And choosing the right one depends on what needs to be communicated from the data. OK, that's it from me. Remember to visit SIL, where you can find a help desk teacher if you have more questions about describing data. And for more videos about presentations and reports, please visit our YouTube channel.